Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, yo. To the You're Not Serious, Right? Podcast. And man, it's been cold. It really has. I think Monday, it's actually supposed to throw snow like three or four inches. Throw snow? All right, dude. Stop <laughs> dogging on me. Anyways, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like 16 or 17 degrees outside too. Dude, I, I mean, I'm going to be pushing carts and I'm going to oh. be slipping, falling, snowed on. Dude, yeah, I'm imagine calling out. I'm calling out. There ain't no way I'm going. <laughs> well, to you can't snowing. like. There's no way for you to get out because the hill. Yeah, I do have a big hill in my neighborhood, yeah. and if it snows, I'm not risking my car and my life to push some carts for hundred dollars. Oh yeah, dude, I'm telling you, I think Tennessee is like bipolar with the weather. It is more than bipolar, dude. Next week it's going to be eighty. I guarantee yeah. it. Well, like two days ago it was just like sixty. Now we're going back to like 17, 16 degrees. I think I think I think I saw the wind chill was like negative ten. Next week. Negative 10 degrees. Hey, I hope we're out the whole week. Middle Tennessee is one of those things where if you get if you want snow, you have to wait till January. Yeah. And even then, you might not even get it. But if you get it, it's gonna be ice. Because think about it. My dad, me and dad were, me and my dad were talking about it. And when it snows three to four inches, it's fine to drive on. But when people are driving over it and it melts, and then the next day is supposed to be negative one, it's yep. gonna freeze. And guess yep. what's on the road now? Ice, ice, black ice. And that's what causes the issues. People can drive on snow just fine. But as soon as you start throwing ice in the mix, nope. Yep. Nope. You, I'm not going on the highway. I'm good. Ain't going to work. <laughs> I'm calling out. <laughs> I'm calling out. Sorry. Sorry. I can't make it out of my neighborhood because there's ice and snow on the roads. Yeah, that's and they'll be like, well, it. guess you're getting written up. I'm like, all right. Write me up. <laughs> all right. I'll See you care. later. <laughs> Dude, it was literally so cold the other day before when I got off work. There was ice inside my car on the windshield. And I was like, bro, what am I supposed to do? So I talked to my homie, Nate Shiesty. Uh-huh. And he was like, just take a card and scrape it. So I'm in there <laughs> scraping all the ice <laughs> off. Like, why should I be doing that? How long did that take you? 30 minutes. Oh, man. Dude, because I had a small card. And like, why? And it kept it kept fogging too. It kept fogging up. How am I supposed to drive? So I just, I just big balled it and drove home with the fog on there. By the way, his car, no defrost, no air. Yeah, it takes like 30 minutes for it to kick on. So like usually what happens is it'll be cold in my car. I'll drive home from work and it'll kick on as soon as I get in my neighborhood. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you really waited until I got to my neighborhood to work. All right, cool. Anyway, that's stupid. That's bad. It's always cold in your car too. It's so bad, bro. So who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl, dude? Oh, man. I mean, I think me personally, I would. I don't really like the Chiefs, but... Man, I I would I would hope they would go or the Ravens. Ravens have I think the, the Ravens are in personally because I rep Ravens. Go Ravens, you know yep. Maryland, um, born in Maryland, not raised in Maryland, but I'm not voting for the Tennessee Titans. They suck. Well, <laughs> nah, dip, man, nah, dip. <laughs> and Lamar deserves. Oh, Lamar is nasty. A Super Bowl ring, dude. I, I think so too. A Super I Bowl hope. championship. He deserves some sort of victory in his career. Uh huh. I think. Yeah, they have the best record. What are they? 13 and 4. 13 and 4. Whew. That's the one statistic I know is true because I looked it up before we started recording. <laughs> yeah, they probably have the best chance to go to the Super If they don't, if they I'm, lose, I'm dude. Gonna mad. I'm Imagine gonna be mad. if they lose. <laughs> dude, it's dude, your dad's going to be so mad. My dad doesn't care. My dad's a Colts fan. Oh, I thought he liked the Ravens too. Like no. Baltimore. No. He doesn't no? care. He doesn't care about them. Oh. He, he likes the Eagles. If the Colts lose, he'll vote for the Eagles because that's his sister's favorite team. But oh, okay. No, he don't care about the Ravens. He thinks they suck. What? Yeah. Or he doesn't think they suck. He just hates them. He's like, I don't like the Ravens. He doesn't like Lamar? Who doesn't like Lamar? Well, Lamar used to be very egotistical back yeah, in the yeah. day. And he, like, do you imagine how nasty he would be if he was a wide receiver? On God. He but is fast. He doesn't want to be. He wants nope. to be a quarterback. That's yep. it. That's why, that's why he was like a lower pick because he was like, I'm not going to be a wide receiver. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think. I think he's an all right quarterback, but he 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 can run. He he can run. He can run, dude. I, I'll be playing him a Madden twenty two. <laughs> dude, Madden twenty two. He is insane. It, it's if unfair. Y'all, if y'all have never played it, if you choose the Ravens and you know how to do QB sneaks, oh my god. Yeah, just all you got to do is legit run with uh, Lamar, and he'll touch down every he's, time. He's the fastest in the game. He's yep. broken. Uh, and I think they did that on purpose, but I don't know. 
Uh, th- it's bad because all you got to do, you don't have to throw to anyone. Just run with them in the game. And yeah, basically you let all the wide receivers go out. So everyone's defending them. Then you just run up yep, and, and just and run just out of bounds. Easy touchdown or except, just run out of bounds. Except he's very easy to fumble. He oh, does well, not have good ball control. You just got to hit stick him. Yep. And then he's over. Okay. But uh, we have a very fun experience <laughs> that we did not even think was going to happen. So I was going to pick up Chris to go spend at my house because we are just going to hang out because it was school yep. night and we are both bored. And as I'm leaving his house, we noticed Joe. We've talked about it before, but Joe lives like a house down from Chris. Mm-hmm. And we see him leaving. And we're like, I was like, "Can I? should I chase him? And he's, and Chris oh, was yeah. Like, Chris was like, yeah. <laughs> so we were chasing this man. And keep in mind, Joe should know what car I have. Yeah. But apparently he forgot because we were chasing this man, slamming the horn a couple times, you know. <laughs> Riding his and tail. He just kept driving. And he car's speeding up. He was yeah. speeding up. He like he was trying to keep some distance. Uh-huh. And he's taking the back way. I because we, we thought he was going to his girlfriend's house. Mm-hmm. So we're following him because we're like, that's the same way we got to go to my house. Yeah. So we're following this man. And then we follow him for like eight minutes. Then he pulls into this ram neighborhood. And we're like, what? Is this like is this the right guy? Are we sure? It was like a rich neighborhood. And we're yeah. like, mm about that and then he pulls in and starts like slamming on the gas through the neighborhood like and we're like all right we just stop we're like should we chase him he might be calling the cops yeah we wait five minutes or like a minute and they're like nah let's go find him so <laughs> we drive up this big hill in this neighborhood and we're searching for him we're turning on all these roads we're like he's definitely gone by now yeah and then we're about to as we're leaving because we can't find him guess who we see <laughs> rolling the other way past us he's going so slow like i don't get it i think he was like trying to make sure we weren't in there and then as he did he we, it was like so funny we're just like both driving in slow motion yeah. past each other i whip it around 180 and yep. i start bolt i start chasing him dude and he starts bolting too and he, it was crazy yeah i didn't speed the neighborhood because i there's a lot of cars on the road so yeah. i was going like 15 i was yeah. keeping that at a legal speed but this man, as soon as he got on the main road, oh my God, he was gone. Yeah, he was scared. He was just going. So he was bolting it down this road. And we're just like, all right, well, he's definitely scared now. Yeah. So we're still chasing him. Like, <laughs> it's, it's a full on mission now. We are chasing Joe. Uh-huh. And Joe is scared of, for his life. We're, yeah. I'm guaranteed yeah. it by now. So we're just chasing this man. And then we get to like, towards like the highway and he pulls like some fast and furious moves. Dude, he low-key juked both of us out. I didn't know he was going to do that. He literally turned into like this washing machine place and then busts the right and then it's on the highway instantly. Yeah. And I try to cut him off, but I couldn't because he was too fast. He already turned in there and he's just gone. We're like, all right, mission over. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, you know, went to the G station and then I get a text from his girlfriend that was actually in the car. <laughs> And she was like, dude, what are you guys doing? You guys are scaring me. You scared Nora. Because before this, I, I called Noah. I'm like, yo, bro, you know that was us behind you. He's like, oh my God, really, dude? I thought I was getting chased by some random guy. <laughs> like, no, dude, it was us. And his girlfriend was freaking out. She was scared for her life. I'm sorry about that. I really am. I'm not. Because, you, homie, you should know what car I Oh, drive. well, on God, we we thought we... Dude, he knew Joe what car has, Joe has seen me at school driving that car. Yeah. So there's no way he should have just not known it was me. But he didn't, and it was very funny. And But the thing is, we tried, Chris was trying to call him on the way Yeah, there. and he, he just didn't answer. So we are like, all right, well, right, walk in. We're, we're going to keep chasing him. <laughs> I mean, he had his chance. His girlfriend was really mad at both of us, and it, it was bad. But speaking of interesting times, how many Octobers was it? Two years ago now? Yeah, two years. Man. It was a long time ago. Two years ago, we've talked about my relationship with Jane in the past, <laughs> and we're going to talk about it again today. Yeah. Um, me and Jane, I dated this girl for a long time. It was my longest relationship, right? And I think we're, what, six months in at this time? Yeah. So me and Chris, first off, me and Chris were having a, the best night ever. We're in my room, blasting music, yep. having a great time. And then he gets he gets a text from this from this girl he knows. And and uh what was she saying? She was like, yo, I mean, I think it was Halloween night, right? Halloween night. Halloween night, night right? She texted me, yo, you guys want to go to the party? I mentioned it to him and uh, I think what was it? I think you wanted to go to Jane's house or Jane texted you and we went to go pumpkin carving. Yeah, yeah. J- Jane was like Hey Jacob, do you want to go pumpkin carving with me in four for four? <laughs> four for four. And no hate, but think about a girl 
and thinking about and think about the word four for four. Yeah. Put just, those together and you'll see what we're talking about. Just, Jane and four for four. Um, they were like, hey, you want to go pumpkin carving? It'll be cool. I'm like, I don't really like four for four because she's mean. <laughs> no one likes four for four. Which is funny because you think she tried to balance out her situation with a good personality. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. she didn't. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, four for four. I still don't like you. You're mean. <laughs> oh, God. We had plenty of stories but four for four. Yeah. A, um, a lot of stories. Yeah. But they're like, going to go pumpkin carving. They were like, it'll be fun. I was like, all right, fine. In my head, I knew it was not going to be fun. I was kind of mad the whole time because how are you going to reject a party and pumpkin carving? So we go to the store in Columbia, like deep Columbia. Yeah. That, like Jane picks us up and we're on the car. All, all four of us are in the car. Me and Chris sit in the back. I was like, I'm not. Sorry. Yeah. He was like, dude, I, I ain't doing that. I'm like, all right, dude. No. And I was not going to make Chris the next or four. Oh, four yeah. Either. I was not going to try to. I, I don't think I could have fit in the car <laughs> with four, four in it. So, especially in the back seat. So I don't know. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah. But uh, so we're going. We, we went to like Kroger. I think that's where we went. And we're like looking for pumpkins. Mm -hmm. um, me and Chris are just looking at each other like, this was a bad idea. Like, uh, we already knew it was a bad idea. Yeah, I was just telling my mic, bro, we should have went to the party. Should have went to the party. And so we're sitting there. We get we end, up, we end up getting the pumpkins and they're like, let's go to the park. I was like, all right, cool. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great idea if you go to the park <laughs> at nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Great idea. Great. No, there's never been a better idea in my life that I've heard. Yeah. Um, so we end up going to this park. It's so sketchy. We roll up. It is so, it's literally <laughs> uh, like a pavilion. And mm -hmm. then to the right, it's just like a basketball hoop area, like a basketball court, but it's one, it's not even two. It's just one hoop. Yeah. And the pavilion, like, it's like pitch black. It is pitch black. So we're rolling up. We're like, we're, we can just use our phone flashlights. I'm standing like, we're finna get, we're finna die. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, we're finna die tonight. This, <laughs> this is, this is the end of Jane, Chris, yep. four, 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 <laughs> and Jacob, you know, yeah. this is the end. This is the end of all of us. Uh-huh. And in my back of my mind, I was like, if anything goes wrong, I'm throwing four for four in the mix. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing. I'm like, get, get her. She's the Please, one. please. She's the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> but so we roll up. We're like, I was like, fine. I'll go. It's fine. Whatever. Mm -hmm. So we, we let four for four lead the way because she's got this big old attitude. Oh, yeah. And she's like, oh, hey, why are you guys scared? You guys got no balls. <laughs> we're like, uh, we do. And that's why we're not going to die first. Yeah. So. We're rolling up to the pavilion, this pitch black place, mm -hmm. and we hear like some movement in this <laughs> dark pavilion, and uh, we hear like like a dog. Yeah, like like not like a dog barking, but it was just like <laughs> yeah, it was just something like the dog was like you know panting, and um, we turn the flashlights on on our phone, and we see a homeless man <laughs> sitting in the pitch dark with his dog smiling at I us. I mean. I was I was scared. We're all scared. Like I mean, imagine pitch black, flashes on. We're here something pat. We're like, what is that? Go closer. Boom! Guy's just sitting there with his dog in the pitch black. Yeah, it was <laughs> it was scary because this guy was just smiling. He's like, hey, yeah. it, it was definitely some homeless guy. Yeah, he was. There's no way he wasn't. Yeah, I mean, he had no. a dog, a backpack full of trash, yeah. and some other things. So I don't even know. I don't even know what he had. And then. They look, we all look at each other and they're like, oh, we can stay. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah. we just sit <laughs> at the like chair thing across from him. Yep. Like the bench across from him. And we're just sitting there carving these pumpkins. And I'm like, we're going to die. Yeah. We're dead. Mm -hmm. We're dead. I thought he was, I thought he was about to steal all of the stuff we had from us. Yeah. To be do something him. crazy. He's got yeah. a dog. What if he's just like attack <laughs> and then we're all dead. <laughs> uh. So me and Chris are like, let's go on a walk right quick. Yeah. You know, let's establish like some grounds here. So we're walking in the dark and we're like, and we just left four for four and Jane just there <laughs> with the homeless guy. I don't know why we did that, but we did. Yeah. Think about it, back at it now. That was kind of, <laughs> that was bad. Four for four had it. Yeah. Four for four had it. You know, that, that homeless man was old and kind of small. Yeah. Four for four, four for four. She definitely c could take him. I think she could take anyone to be honest with you. <laughs> Push him over, sit on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, my. seriously. That's oh, yeah. all it takes, man. But we're walking. We're like, I'm like, Chris, this was a bad idea. And, oh. he's, and he's like, I told you. <laughs> I was like, dude, I told you we could have went to the party, but no. So we're, we're sitting there regretting our decision. We're like, we might as well just, we might as well pump, grab these pumps. Maybe it'll be fun. Yeah. And then, you know, it kind of was a little fun. It actually was. I was having the time of a blast. It was relaxing. Yeah. It was me and Chris at another one. We would not want to sit next to them. We were doing our own thing yeah. over there. It was just me and him just having fun, and they're just Man. sitting there quiet. Chilling. After 15 minutes, they came over to us like, 
Does our pumpkins look good? <laughs> I said yes, but man, they look like garbage. They look I've, like trash. I've seen a five year old <laughs> carve a better pumpkin. Uh, it, it was <laughs> bad. Both of them. It we had bad. like like Jane bought like all those tools to like pumpkin pumpkin carve all that. Those and tools sucked. Yeah, they were five dollar tool. Yeah. Didn't the knife thing break? Yes. <laughs> I think you broke it. Didn't you break it? I did, dude. I was stabbed in the pumpkin. <laughs> it was like boom, fixed, and it just and it broke. <laughs> it, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad, dude. But Ugh. like that night, the drive home was so silent. It was bad because we were we started arguing. What were we arguing about? No, okay. So when we're carving, you guys were mad at each other or something, and you, me and you, were just carving by ourselves and four for four and Jane carving by themselves. I remember why. Why? Because you were talking about the party. You're like, we should have went to the party, and they're like, and they're like, what party? And oh. we're like. Oh, yeah. And we're like, uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> well, like, I think it would have been fine if we would have invited them. I feel like they might have been too insecure to go to a party. Yeah, you're right. And th- from base- based on how they were as people, I don't see them as a party type besides 4 for 4. <laughs> yeah. 4 for 4 is, four four is not leaving yeah. with no man. Uh, Unless they are hammered. And looking for a bad time. But she's definitely leaving with a Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> leaving that party with a Big Mac. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. You know, no hate, anybody. No hate. Because um, it was definitely her choice to be <clears throat> a 444. Four. Mm-hmm. Like, um, yeah. But, so that was a very bad night. Especially for Halloween. Yeah. A very bad way. I seriously recommend, if you're going to pumpkin carve, just keep it between... The homies do a homie pumpkin carve. That would be yeah. fun. And don't bring a third wheel. Yeah. Two third wheels. It, no. It was bad. And I think four for four just kept on yapping. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what she was talking she about. She was just yapping. I wasn't listening. She so. was just talking about how she just got her permit and wanted to drive. Yeah. Speaking of that. Oh, speaking of that. Speaking of that. Speaking. Another story <clears throat> with Jane and four for four. Yeah. Me, Chris, and we had two other friends with us. What, yeah. what do we call them? Bob? Bob. I think we may have said Bob before, but this is a different Bob. Yeah, this, this is a different Bob. This is Billy Bob. Yeah, yeah. Billy Bob. He was and sitting then, in the passenger seat. And then we had another really good friend there. Mm-hmm. Um, what are we going to call him? Steve. Steve. His name's not Steve. I do have a friend named Steve, but it's not that Steve, so don't get <laughs> yeah. confused. But <sighs> Steve is a really good friend of ours, too. Mm-hmm. We, we used to hang out with him every day in middle school. Yep. And if he's listening to this, he definitely will know who he is. He's had a molt before. <laughs> a great molt. My eyes. My eyes. <laughs> it was awful. But they're there with Steve and Billy Bob. Mm-hmm. And we were all at B-dubs. For those who don't know, and for those who are too old or too young to know what that means, <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Why is it called B-dubs? I have no clue. To this day, I don't know. Everyone just calls it B-dubs. So, yeah. Is it because W, like B-dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings, like B-dubs as in multiple W's? So, B-dubs. B du- yeah, I think so. Like W's, but just dubs. Yeah. That so place, B dubs. That place is like overrated now, <laughs> dude. You don't, y'all don't understand how many times me and Chris went to Buffalo Wild Wings every yeah. week. It was me, Jacob, and Nate. Yeah, we went there. The food wasn't even that good. It wasn't. It, it really wasn't. wasn't. It took one time for Chris to get food poisoning. And he was like, "Yeah, I'm yeah, not ever again." Yep. And I threw. We always got the bad. Buffalo chicken wrap. Dude, that wasn't that bad. I'm trying like, to get that again. Yeah, that was that was probably the only like the the wraps were probably the only thing that was good. Everything else was pretty bad. But anyway, we're all having a great time, and then Jane's like, "Oh, can I come with four for four? <laughs> I was like, Shh, "Sure, uh-huh. since you are my girlfriend, I might as well invite you to the party." Yeah, yeah. So she rolls up with four for four, mm. and then she proceeds to tell me, four for four has been practicing her driving." Jesus. Um, four for four had a permit. Yep. And that's all she had. Only a permit, by the way. And so we all want to go somewhere else. <laughs> yep. All of us. So we all fit into her very small vehicle. I think it was a Chevy Volt. Mm-hmm. It was a small vehicle. Very small. Does not fit five people. Yeah, we're crammed up in there. <clears throat> and then Jan was like, Oh, I can sit next to you. I was like, Okay. You actually do a pretty good impression of her. <laughs> I tried. She was like, can I sit next to you? I was like, sure. Okay. And I was like, who's going to drive? Because none of us have a license except you. Yeah. 
Except her. Four for four can drive. I was like, bruh. And we all just start going, like, bro, we're not late. Like, she she only has a permit. And four for four was like, shut up. I can drive. I know oh, how to yeah. do it. Definitely can drive with all those Big Macs you eat. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. The car does fall down when she sits on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, if you ever need some downforce, invite 4-4 over. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, when you're not done. All right, yeah, stop, stop, stop. All satire. All, all those, satire, Jesus, please. man. Anyway, so 4-4 is now driving. Mm-hmm. We finally, she finally convinces us because we're like, all right, dude. She's not going to change her mind unless yeah, we, we give her a Big Mac. We just and there's no McDonald's near us. Yeah. So she's driving. And holy shit, man. <laughs> Does she not know how to brake properly? So our she man Billy Bob was in the back, the back seat. This dude is like six, what six three? Yeah, he, he's tall. And and what was that? Like in freshman, he he was a freshman, right? Yeah, he was a freshman. When we were a sophomore. And he's six three. This man was <laughs> six three, dude. He it was, was the NBA, and he's like not skinny either. Like he's a, he's not fat, but he's not skinny. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. He's in between, and this dude is in the back. He's like, oh man, I guess I could try. <laughs> he's sitting in the middle, and this. Woman, four for four, slams on the brake so hard. My man Billy Bob's head is an inch away from slamming against the back glass and possibly dying. Yeah. Seriously. And because she, she wasn't, even, she was parking and she slammed on the brake. Like, what are you doing? And then after that happened, we all got like, yep, nope, we're done. We yeah. are walking. Yeah, we're all mad. We actually all just got out of the car and just started walking. We're like, and then uh, I think she actually went home after that. Yeah, she did. Because um, Jane was very embarrassed of her big old friend that decided to drive when she couldn't. Yeah. And Jane was still defending 4 for 4 For whatever reason, I do not know and will never know why you would defend such horrific driving capabilities. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand. I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't let you drive if you were 15 and you had your permit and I had my license. No, I did it. I, I wouldn't because I, know. I don't know how to drive. Yeah. I'm not risking five people's lives, <clears throat> including my yeah. own, to drive. But of course, you know, four for was like, oh, <laughs> oh we'll drive. <laughs> so, yeah, that, it was awful. As uh, Mr. Fuzz would say, Big Mama got it all. <laughs> yeah. Except the good stuff. <laughs> Seriously, dude. <laughs> God. Oh, my. But I've got a very interesting thing to tell y'all. Oh, God. Here we go. I have... I've known Chris for like nine or eight years now. Mm-hmm. And I have never <laughs> stepped a foot inside of his house or seen a single square inch of his house. I mean, no one has, man. Nobody except be, his parents. And, and his my brother. family members, like my grandma and stuff. But I, my dad just doesn't like company over, man. I don't know what to tell you. I would love to have you over. I would love to have Nate over, too. What is he hiding? Dude, he That's might, what I want to He know. might be... He might, no, what are you hiding? I'm hiding saying, nothing. what are, is Chris Gilbert hiding in his house? I mean, I ain't hiding nothing, bro. I, I, I'm chilling. I just go to my I go to my room and just vibe. He got to the point where one night I was like, Chris, draw a diagram of your house. Draw, <laughs> a, draw a floor plan. I want to know what oh, your yeah. house looks like. I am dying to know what your house looks like because I always just, I always just see it. I see it. I pick them up. I drop them off. Never seen the inside. Yep. I have gone on the porch. Dude, we were outside his house a couple years ago after going to his buddy's house. It was 10 degrees outside. Yeah, it, waiting for my dad to pick me up. And I said, can I come inside? He said, no. Dude, I I couldn't, bro. My dad doesn't like that. I don't know why. 10 degrees. And he's not letting me in his house. Yeah. Because why? I don't know. Because no one's allowed in his house. Uh, no exceptions. The, okay, actually, Noah has... Noah... Joe. <laughs> it's a runny joke now yeah. that... Joe well, is Noah and Noah yeah. is Joe. All right. You know what? <coughs> Noah. So from now on, yeah, we're just from now on, for all people who didn't know, which I don't know how y'all I, didn't on, know. On God. Joe is Noah. Yeah. So exposed. Joe is Noah. Noah yeah. is Joe. Same person. Mm-hmm. Noah. I mean, if y'all didn't get it from the first or second episode, <laughs> I don't know how y'all are going to live, live a life <laughs> in good terms. Like I've yeah. had people come up to me and say, is Noah Joe? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. You cracked yeah. the mystery. Anyways, Noah is actually the only person that has seen my room. Cause, well, he hasn't like actually physically been in it. <laughs> Funny story. He was, he's like hungry. My mom made tacos and 
bro, you know I love tacos. So I open my mm-hmm. window and he's on the porch. He's like, bro, can I have some? I'm just feeding him tacos on the porch. I give him like two or three. So he's like the only one who's seen my room. <laughs> Why the camera turn off? <laughs> yeah, so I was feeding him like two or three tacos. And he's on the porch and I'm on like, I'm inside my room just feeding him through the window. It was so funny. He was hungry. He had, <clears throat> he just didn't have any food. Noah. <laughs> Never has any food. I okay. I didn't want to say that. You had to say all that, dude. <sighs> yeah, but man, he has no food, and I, I was like, dude, I, I, I felt so bad, so I had to get him some. So yeah, he was the only one see my room. Now we're not so generous. Yeah, now we're not. You know, you live a life of <clears throat> generosity to certain people. Yeah, and um, some days you realize they don't need that food. Yeah, I think we finally realized that he was probably like using us for food and stuff. Yeah. PTSA, if somebody only hangs out with you, <laughs> if they get food, <laughs> they're either four for four <laughs> or just don't want to work. Yeah. No matter what you say to somebody, here's a little pep talk. If you want to change your life, you actually have to want to change your life. Boom. If you want to quit doing something, you actually have to quit doing something. Yeah. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing your mom can say. There's nothing your dad can say that will change your way of looking at things unless you want to change it. Yep. If you want to change the way you live your life, then you have to want it. You have to give it your all and you have to commit to your mm-hmm. decision. Nobody else can help you along the way. It's all on you. And that's the hardest part is accepting that you have a problem and you want to change it. But once you do, I promise your life will get a lot better. Sorry. <sighs> wow. Pep talk. Pep talk. Jago came out for a minute. Wow, dude, I actually felt inspired. I, I oh, I'm ready now. I can do anything. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Thank Anytime. You. Anytime y'all need a pep talk, hit me up. I'll send you a snap video. <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a little Snapchat, 30 second video of me giving you a pep talk. Five bucks. <laughs> I kidding. bet, dude, you probably would be pretty good at a motivational like, speaker. Yeah. If y'all want to hear more, motiva- more motivational spe- speeches. Yeah. From uh, Jacob, you know, let us know in the comments. Bip, 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 bip. Comments. Oh, God. Anyway, y'all, <clears throat> we're going to keep it a little short and sweet for y'all today because, man, we feel like we've been giving you all a lot oh, yeah. of content. I mean, the last episode was like 50 minutes. The episode before that was 47 minutes. And, man, we love the support y'all have been giving us. Really? I the really last episode, I think, got... 190 views on mm-hmm. YouTube. Like, what are those numbers? Caden really had left a mark yeah. on the You're Not Serious Right podcast. And we might have him on again. Maybe. I hope so, actually. Because that episode was very well received. Really good. And we appreciate every one of y'all for watching. Thank every you. one of y'all who's said something to us about it, we appreciate you. And we don't say it enough, I feel like, even though we do it in every episode. Mm-hmm. But thank y'all. And if y'all are on our YouTube, which I know a lot of y'all are, check out the Grub Sesh. <gasps> we check that one are out. working on releasing a new. We've already released the first episode as a test run, but we were doing this. We're doing like a series called the Grub Sesh, where every I guess like Friday or something, or just any day we feel like it. I'm yeah. sorry, it's not going to be consistent. I'm um, yeah, sorry. But that's like a perk of being on YouTube is you get to see these extra little short fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And we basically just go somewhere, order a bunch of food, basically mukbang, and talk about some cool stuff. And just rate the food also. So unscripted, just having a great time. Uh This isn't really scripted. This podcast is, we just have key points to hit. Yeah. So we don't get too off track Mm -hmm. because we do that sometimes. A lot, actually. But. Our but the grub sesh is just unscripted, fun stuff of us eating food and yapping for like twenty minutes. Yeah, check it out. The first if y'all episode. Are, if y'all are into like mukbangs and people eating, um, check it out. I look you like that. Like watching people. How do you feel about that? Actually, um, like watching people eat. I can't do that. I, I really used to, can't. I used to. I mean, I, I think I think I can do that. I used to like watch a lot of mukbangs. Like the ASMR mukbangs. No, I can't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's <laughs> nah, that's how four nah. for four sounds. Like nah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, we're done. You gotta chill. 
We're done with four for four. We're, we're, we're done, giving we're her a lot of attention this episode. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. But yeah, make sure y'all are catching us on Instagram, catching us on YouTube shorts. We started doing YouTube shorts recently. Mm-hmm. They've been doing decent. Yep. TikTok. You're not serious, right? Um, and I know I'm sorry. Today the TV's not on. Sorry. My laptop is dead. Like always. But I will throw a little picture up there on the TV. So y'all won't even know it's been off the whole time. It is off. It is black. <laughs> but there is a little picture of our links up there right now. <clears throat> yeah. And it's always at the end. And I got to say, I love the intro. Y'all don't understand how many times I replay the <laughs> intro of the song. What, uh, uh, or the outro. outro. Sorry, the outro. Oh, the outro. Oh, yeah, the outro is really Y'all don't good understand too. how many times I replay the outro of the podcast episode and just vibe to it. It is <laughs> yeah. so good. It Whoever is wrote that song, dude, oh my God. I just want to give you a big hug. Oh, yeah. You were, you did great. Wow. Whatever juices were flowing through you that day, <laughs> oh, yeah. man, you used all of them. Jesus. Yeah. Thank you. It was really but, good. Yeah. Sounds so good. We appreciate y'all. I hope the next episode is not delayed because of snow. Yeah. But it shouldn't be. And if it did snow and you're a Tennessee watcher, enjoy not having school on Tuesday and watching this episode in the comfort of your home or listening to it. We yep. do appreciate all listeners. And yeah. make sure if you want to support the podcast, we have a PayPal and we have a monthly subscription on our Buzzsprout web- website. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank y'all a lot. And you're not serious, right? right? <laughs> <laughs>